the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. brothers and sisters, so that we may prepare ourselves to worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> O God, by whom the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain of sin, by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, the woman whom you put here with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, the serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals from all, and from all the wild creatures. On your belly you shall crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one, 
who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, first of all, I just want to thank all of you for, for being here because it's hard enough to get people to come to a holy day when it is a, a day of obligation. And obviously this year, uh, because of the pandemic, it is not. So uh, you are extra special for, for being here. So we thank you for that. Well, on this Feast of the Immaculate Conception of Mary, the feast where we celebrate the fact that she herself was conceived without sin, we hear about, in the first reading, about how sin was introduced into the world. Because Adam and Eve, obviously, uh, were told, don't eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge. And of course, as we know from the story, they went ahead and did it. They ate of the fruit of the tree of knowledge. And so by doing that, then they introduced into the world sin. So obviously, they did not follow what the Lord asked them to do. Sometimes that's what we do when we sin. We don't follow what the Lord asks us to do, even though sometimes it doesn't necessarily make sense. And I'm sure to Adam and Eve, they thought, well, there's this apple, there's this tree. I mean, it just makes no sense. We're hungry, we might as well eat it. Well, so then we flash forward and we see what happens to Mary. And so Gabriel came to Mary and 
told her something that was totally unbelievable, that she was going to be the mother of the Son of God. And she was very troubled, as, as we hear it. She didn't understand all of that. It made no sense to her. But the angel said, obviously, don't be afraid. And so Mary did something that was, was highly regarded and highly trusting in the Lord. She said, okay, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. So she did what the Lord asked her to do, even though it made no sense whatsoever. And that's where trusting in the Lord comes in. And, you know, all of us probably this year have scratched our heads numerous times for many, many reasons and think, you know, there's so much going on in the world that, that makes no sense, that doesn't compute. It's not part of what we would have expected to happen. I mean, if anyone had told us a year ago, we'd be sitting here, you know, on this feast day all masked up and kind of afraid of a lot of things, we wouldn't have believed it. And so throughout history, as they went with Adam and Eve, things have happened that subverted God's will, but things have also happened that make no sense. Why do wars occur? All those things that make no sense. Injustice, all of that. But that's where we have to be like Mary and trust in the Lord. And it is not easy because, I mean, we all think, well, okay, we were trusting in you, Lord. There doesn't seem to be any end in sight in things and if it's not this, I mean, it'll probably be something else coming along. But Mary provides for us that great example of just not questioning and trusting and knowing that it will all work out. And Mary and Joseph, they did. They, they had the baby Jesus, and it wasn't exactly a, a big party. Uh, here they had to go from place to place to find a place to stay and wound up in a cold, dark stable in the middle of the night. Not exactly how you would have think how the Son of God would be born. And so when we feel those feelings of doubt or despair or insecurity or whatever, we just have to look to Mary and know that by her trusting in the Lord, a beautiful thing happened. And by our trusting the Lord, sure, even things got tough for Mary. She had to watch her son die, but, she all, but he rose again. And so trusting in the Lord as Mary did can help us in good times and in hard times. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now let us bring our prayers to the Lord. For Holy Church, that she may grow towards the perfection of Mary, our destiny and our hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our world, that through prayer and penitence, and penance it may enter an age of peace, the triumph of Mary's heart, and for an end to the pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For the pure in heart, that they may spread decency and harmony throughout society, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That expectant parents may be free of anxiety, full of health and well-being, blessed with joy and contentment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our parish community may receive Jesus, the Word of God, as did Holy Mary, the daughter of the Most High, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, that she who is full of grace may help us on our pilgrimage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially Gabe Zablotnik and all those who have died from the coronavirus, that they may rejoice forever with the Blessed Mother, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silent prayer, let us now mention our own special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we ask you to hear these prayers and those that we hold in our hearts. Continue to show us your love and your mercy, and we ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her, on account of your prevenient grace, to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb, who would wipe away all of our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of A mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
day. For the end of this pandemic and all the damage that it has caused, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Blessed Stanley Rother. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way you preserve Blessed Mary in her immaculate conception. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go. Oh.